The leadership and members of the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC has issued a two-week ultimatum to the federal government to resolve the protracted conflicts with the nation's university workers and reopen schools. Chairperson of the Lagos State Chapter of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Fumi Shesi, issued the ultimatum on Tuesday during a protest to Government House, Alausa Ikeja, in solidarity with the academic staff Union of University Zasu. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikokoyedoku reports. The protest kicks off around 7.30 a.m. at Ikeja on the bridge, with thousands of members of the union and its affiliates participating. They walked from under the bridge in Ikeja to government secretariat at Alausa, where they met a barricade at the entrance. They finally gained entrance after much persuasion and peaceful entreaties. A government that cares about university education cannot be imposing a corrupt, fraudulent, obsolete, and exploitative IPPIS on the university system. We call for immediate abolition of this and, and the adoption of UTAS in the university system because it takes care of our peculiarity, university autonomy, and it will not continue uh, the present system where people who are working behind and getting benefit from IPPIs continue to get our, our own money. Chairperson of the Lagos State Chapter of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Fumi Shesi, warned that the action could take a new turn if the government fails to conclude all negotiations and agreements with ASU. For more than five months now, they have been engaging with the government and government has not been able to resolve the issues. So if government has just come out to come and tell us that within the, the space of two weeks they will be able to wrap up and conclude, we know that government is just paying a lip service. The protest afforded human rights lawyer Femi Falano another opportunity to take a swipe on the Buhari administration. The president is tired. He has said that he sanctions to go back to Katsina. We ask him to rush back home and leave Nigeria in peace. Yes, the president is tired. Boko Haram boys are taking over Abuja. Yeah. Yesterday there was another attack. In fact, they were going to attack the law school. They killed about three soldiers yesterday. We are telling the government that enough is enough. Yes. Enough of killings yes. of our people. Uh -huh. Enough of strikes yes. in our tertiary institutions. Yes. The protesters were received by the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Sustainable Development Goals and Investment, Mrs. Sholakbe Hammond, on behalf of Governor Babajide Sawulu. From Lagos, Lafikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.